Hey yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this one. The first thing I would like to say, we are about to drop a lot of clothing, a lot of new merch, sweatshirts, hats, shirts, beanies, literally the whole deal around 10 different designs and pretty much everything. I'm about to release a lot of stuff. So you guys need to stay tuned for that. If you guys haven't followed my Instagram, be sure to go follow it. But anyways, if you guys are wondering what we are doing today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to catch 10 to 15 times more bass or more fish in general. I want to just say bass. Let's say like 10 to 15 times more fish. I actually filmed the video the other day. If you guys want to go check it out? I'll actually link it right here or I'll link it below. But I was using little tiny micro baits, which you catch crappie, bluegill, bass. You pretty much catch everything on it, like literally everything. So right now we all know, you know, this time of year is pretty tough. It's hard to catch the fish. You know, it might be super cold outside. Today actually feels pretty good, but you know, the fishing has been kind of rough in the ponds lately. So this is one technique you can take to pretty much any pond, where you go, wherever you go, and catch fish on it. I mean, you can catch anything. That's why this bait's so good. But let me take you over there, show you what we're gonna be using, and then we're gonna go catch some fish. So this time of year, it can really beat your head against the wall to catch a fish. I mean, it can be really hard, and it can be aggravating, and it make you guys literally not wanna fish. And that's why I'm showing you guys this video is because you guys are gonna be able to just hook stuff. So if you guys wanna go out there and catch fish, doesn't matter the size, it can be big, small. I mean, you will catch literally anything will bite this bait and uh, let me show you guys so this is actually called the old electric chicken all right the electric chicken that's a juicy electric chicken right there um, as you guys can tell just a little tiny small crappie bait and this is on a 1 16th ounce little jig head right here so very light all right so we're pretty much targeting crappie bluegill sunfish bass whatever's big enough to pretty much eat this bait we're going to be catching today so you're going to be you know you're going to experiment with micro bass you're going to catch bigger bass as well i actually caught a four pounder the other day on it and they were just tearing it up but we're going to work this a few different ways today and i want to see how they're biting it and how they're biting it best maybe you can take it or take a little crappie bait to your pond and see if you can catch some fish but let's uh go ahead and throw it in the water and see if we catch something all right so this is the first little cast or flip flip right out there let's see if we can get some notice i'm throwing this on some light spinning gear i would normally throw it on like a crappie rod um but i'm having to throw it just on my you know regular spinning combo if you guys are wondering what this is it's just old fate black on a creed gt spinning uh spinning reel i have just a braid to fluorocarbon leader we are about to see if we can catch some fish y'all it's gonna be fun we're gonna catch a lot of everything and i'm curious to see if we can hook a big bass today Oh man, oh man, what we got here, this one feels decent. Oh, it's a bass. There we go. He is not a bad one. He is not a bad one. I will take him for the first fish of the day. Look at that. Right there, guys, as you guys can tell. Just a little baby. Woo, woo. A baby crappie jig right there. This guy is the squirmiest thing. I swear, hold on. That is the first fish of the day right there, just a little baby guy. But that was that was pretty quick. What I did is I did have the electric chicken on. I switched it to this little shad profile. Look at his lips right there. Look at that. Gosh, that's awesome. <laughs> that is crazy. But I switched that little shad profile one. I did break off the other one right there. Caught him right away. Just a few casts. He slammed that thing. And it's so fun on those little light baits like that and light tackle. These fish just fight so hard even when they're small. But that's awesome for the first one today. We're gonna catch a few more of these and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing and how I'm getting the bites on this. There he goes. There he is. There we go, baby. They bite so hard on this stuff. They aren't even big. But I'm telling you, it catches fish right there. Look at that. Perfect. Another little bass. Crazy right here. I'm hoping to get like a little crappie or bluegill, catch something a little bit different, but this just shows, you know, the micro baits, they catch bass. I mean, a lot of people say, you know, don't throw small baits, you know, they only catch small fish, this and that. I'm gonna tell you, a majority of the fish in this pond are around this size. If I was on a fish, or if I was at a pond with, you know, a lot more bigger fish, then I promise you this thing will catch them. Like, it, it just will. But uh, I wanna show you guys a little bit of how I'm working this and pretty much how I'm doing it right now. I haven't really dialed in these fish yet. Like I've caught two, but I haven't really dialed them in yet to really figure out, you know, how they really want to eat this thing. So this is how I'm working this thing. I'm just throwing, that was a close one. I'm just throwing this bait out there. And there is a lot of grass in the bottom of this pond. Um, even right now in the winter time, there's still a good bit of grass on the bottom. There's just a bunch of crap, really. A bunch of leaves, cause all the leaves are gone from the trees and 
just a bunch of stuff that there we go another bass I was trying to explain but no matter speaking of weeds I mean you could tell by the bait right there you just saw just a bunch of nasty stuff on the bottom and I know a lot of people are going to comment about that because a lot of ponds you know have a bunch of nasty stuff and it's hard to throw you know certain baits there without getting a bunch of crap on your bait so that's pretty much how I'm working this thing right now is I'm throwing it out and I'm really popping it hard like I said I'll try it again I'll throw it out and I'm really popping this thing off the bottom I'm not really letting it sit too long in some areas where I know there's not a, not a lot of grass and I know it's kind of you know sandy bottom there's not really much down there I'm gonna really slow this thing down and barely wiggle it but for right now how I've caught those three fish is I'm pretty much popping this thing off the bottom and it's just shooting golly I had another bite right there uh, it's just popping right off the bottom it's such a quick little you know the bait's just popping right off it looks like a little bait fish on the bottom just popping up and there's one thing that's very important when throwing these little micro jig heads like this for these little crappie baits and the most important speaking of it you just bit my tail off right there but the most important thing is the movement of your rod and obviously i'm just using a little bass setup right here um, i'm sure to be a little bit different with a little crappie rod or you know a little smaller rod but you guys got to understand with that tiny tiny bait that the slight motion with your rod like just just a little bit like this is making that bait really come up about three to four inches off the bottom so just jerking it like this i'm popping it pretty hard and aggressive just because there's a lot of crap on the bottom and if it's on my lure i kind of want to pop it off you got to understand when i pop my rod like that that bait's coming at least a solid six to seven inches off the bottom which can be a really productive way to catch those fish as well just because it's a reaction bite say he's looking at it and you pop your rod just like i was showing you guys with the jig in that one video where you're really popping your rod hard and that bait's shooting up and it just causes a reaction bite a little reaction strike for those fish to just commit to it um, but that's something just to keep in note, you know, if the fish are a little more lethargic today or whatever it is, I'm going to barely tick that rod. Like, I mean, I, like just like this, just barely to where that thing's just barely moving. But just keep that in note. It's not like a regular jig, like a half ounce jig or a shaky head or even a drop shot. This is a lot smaller of a bait. So just be careful when you're working that thing. And if you're not getting bites, slow down, especially this time of year. That's the biggest word is to slow down. And I promise you catch some more fish but let's go down the bank i don't know if that's exactly how they're eating it i mean yeah i've caught three fish but who knows i might be able to slow this thing down even more instead of really popping it and getting that reaction bite and i'll probably catch more fish but we're going to experiment with that today let's keep going down this bank and see what we can catch oh hey man these little guys fight i'm telling you they don't play no games this is why this is so much fun guys it, you will catch listen if I was out here with a drop shot or a Senko, I don't know if you guys remember the last time I came out here, but it was horrible. Like, it was horrible. I had to painfully soak. I think it was a Senko I was using. And I had to painfully soak it. I only had two bites all day, and it was horrible. And when you downsize to something like that, that they can just eat, it's smaller, you know, it doesn't take a lot of effort. It's so small it can fit in their mouth. You'll just catch so many fish. I promise you the big ones will bite it, but another little bass. That's number four already i mean we haven't even been fishing that long and that is just oh that's awesome they're so fun to catch too it's just they fight so well on this little tiny bait like this on a on a light rig oh man do they fight good it just feels awesome it's like every single time it doesn't matter if it's big or small it feels like you got a big fish on so that's always a bonus but man they're tearing this thing up so far i'm excited we haven't even hit the good side of the pond yet I don't know if you guys can see over there, but there's a lot of wind way back in that corner. And that's where they're going to be. I promise you that's where a lot of the fish are in this pond. And I'm super excited to go back there. The only reason why I started over here is because the wind's not as bad and the audio, you know, I don't really want to mess with the audio. But we are going to go over there and I, I promise you they'll be, they'll be stacked up in that corner. It's going to be good. Little baby bass. I have yet to catch anything but a bass. Look how dark that fish is. It's crazy. He has a little spot on him like something tried to get him. Oh, baby. Should be every cast right there because it narrows down. Uh-oh. There he is, right where he should have been. Oh. Fish number two in the same spot. That is a 
another dark fish. So let me tell you a little bit of something right here. So, all right, let me put my pole down so I can explain. So you see that fish right there? Just like the last one, he was caught in the same spot. And that is a stubby one, ain't he? A little baby. But see the colors on him, how he's so dark? This is the one spot on the pond where grass really keeps around this time of year. And what he's doing, he's sitting around the edge of that grass. So what you have here, you have all this wind, as you guys can tell, I was talking about it on that other side, pushing up against this bank, and more importantly, pushing right up in this cove right here. And this is important to know. I mean, this is something that you can take wherever you fish, I don't care if it's a lake, a pond, wherever, is wherever that wind's positioned and pushing back in, especially when you find like a little pocket like this, where it's just pushing in, that is key right there because it's going to push all that bait fish push all that stuff right back to where those fish are and those bass are going to be sitting here to ambush but this time of year especially in the winter i actually have a video coming out soon i don't know if i already posted it or not but i talk about you know this fish sitting in the deepest part of the ponds and in the lakes and how i really figure that out in ponds and say i see see how this little cove goes back here so you've got each side of this bank and what it does is it's pretty shallow on the banks so in, envision this. So we're sitting on this side of the bank. Then you have this side of the bank, which is over there. Say they're both coming down and you're gonna create a deep point right here on the bottom. And those, it's pretty much like a little ditch, I would call it in a, in a pond. I just say it's just a little ditch. Those fish are gonna tuck up in that, especially when there's grass. So they have cover down there. They have that ditch. They're gonna cradle up in that, especially when it's cold like this during the winter. And then you have all this wind pushing back in here. That is just perfect for a bass to sit down in. And that's really what I've been trying to figure out in this pond because it's very shallow throughout the whole thing. But when you have these two necks bank in like that, it's gonna create just a little ditch. And say this pond's around five foot, even if in the middle right there is about seven, just a two foot drop off in a shallow pond that is very, very important. And they will stack up in there. And that just shows, I just proved it because I caught two fish in the same spot. And guess what? I'm about to pick up my bait right now and we're going to see if we can catch a third, maybe even fourth, maybe even fifth fish right in that same spot. So I'm going to throw right in the middle at the mouth of this thing. Just right out there, where obviously would be the deepest point to where they both neck together. And that's where those fish should all be stacked up, and that's where those two were. But when you find these fish stacked up like this, I'm telling you, it can be a slugfest. I mean, you can almost every cast sometimes. And you, and you can really put a hurting on them. I'm telling you, just... Next time you go to one of your ponds, try to figure out where that deep area is where it drops off and it has like a little ditch. That's what I'm calling them as a ditch. And uh, go fish that out. And if you catch one, keep making that cast because there's gonna be more down there with them. So I just moved back more in this cove where the wind's pushing in. And there's a problem that I had back here with this little bait. It's that there's a lot of grass and this hook's so exposed. You know, it's just like a little jig head, like a little swim bait head, I mean, whatever. And uh, the thing is the hook's exposed and it's gonna hook all that grass so what i've been doing is i've been keeping it right above that grass and kind of just jerking the top of my rod trying to get a reaction bite and just kind of swimming that thing and this is a great time to tie on like a little he had just a little white grub a little curly tail on it so to give it a little bit more movement see this one just got that little twitch tail right there on the end of it which is not bad it really is it looks like a little shad darting through the water but if you had the little curly tail the little twirly tail I think it'll look a lot better. Give it a little bit more vibration, especially in those ponds that are a little bit dirtier. But it's just a little thing I wanted to show you guys, just in case you know run into that problem where there's a lot of grass and you don't really know what to do from there. Just by keeping that bait, moving your rod and reeling in, and using it as more of a reaction bait, that's how you can get through that stuff and still cover a lot of water and try to at least catch those aggressive fish that live in there. All right, everybody, I think I'm about to sign off this video, but a few quick things to sum up this video and why I made it is because. A lot of comments, a lot of people commenting like, no, I cannot catch fish, no, I cannot get bites. I filmed a video the other day with this little micro bait right here, and it just was catching them, you know, it was catching everything, pretty much anything I bite. So if you guys are really having a hard time at the ponds, the lakes, wherever you're going to, I highly suggest you just whip out this little, you know, crappie bait, this little crappie jig, and go to town. I mean, you got, you can get these at Walmart. I mean, really simple stuff. You just put a little soft plastic on a little crappie jig head, just like this. I mean, this is probably like a couple dollars right here and it'll catch you whatever you want. So if you want to, even if it's, this is a good thing if you're wanting to take some friends out that have like never caught a fish or whatever it is, this would be the perfect bait for them to throw. And you will catch a lot of fish. I promise you, if I came out here with the bass lure with how tough it is, I probably wouldn't catch them, you know, I probably, or I wouldn't have caught as many. 
So I promise you, you will get more bites while throwing this. If you guys think I should do a challenge where I actually compare this bait right here to like a bass lure and see which one catches more fish, let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to pepper that like button up if you haven't already. Um, also, stay tuned for the clothing drop. That's gonna be happening very, very soon. And also, if you have not subscribed and you're new to the channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. Also, the notification bell right next to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Beat it up, beat it up, keep it up, keep it up. They gon' try you, they can't stop you. Eat it up, eat it up. Pac-Man, Pac-Man.